This is. As I told you, we didn't want the organic label because we don't think one is uh, strictly a medicine if it's organic. But I keep suggesting, my friends, if you feel low in energies, you can have a glass of Moscato, and this will give you energies enough to finish to finish your day. <laughs> Moscato is what we call um, an aromatic variety. It means the wine tastes exactly as the fruit tastes, which is unusual because if you have the experience to try Dolcetto or Nebbiolo or Barbera. The taste of the fruit is completely different from what you will find into the wine. But that's, that's a good point with the aromatic varieties. There's a strict connection. How do we vinify it? There again, it's pretty simple. It's pressing, decanting the wine with cold temperature to, to have a settlement and get rid of the pieces of skin that might have remained with the, with the juice then fermenting at a low temperature. Uh, the big issue with sweet wines is sulfur. It, the, the sugar would, would connect to the sulfite. So the sulfite remains into the wine but can't protect it. And that's why you have to add more. But um, we know that a lot of sulfite can sometimes give problems with your digestion or your headache. And we want people to go and sleep well every night. Um, so what the focus in the past two vintages, this is the one I've been taking care of most uh, in the past two years, has been to lower down the content of the sulfite. How could we do it? Do you know the, I, the car, um, dry ice which is used for special effect like on, concert, on concerts, that kind of fake fog coming out of some strange machinery? Well that's made with, with uh, dry ice. Of course, we're not using the same as a Rolling Stone concert, but uh, it's much purer, it's meant for medical use. But the good point is that that's CO2, so it's a gas that being put under pressure becomes solid. So once it is at free temperature, it will sublimate, producing again the CO2. And it's minus 80 Celsius degrees. So we add a little bit of the dry ice into the press, it makes a lot of special effects, but most important, it uh, strips away the oxygen from the press and lowers the temperature. So we can do a very gentle work, preserving the freshness of the wine without using too much of sulfur. Um, I used to say it was an easy wine until I started to make it. And actually, I, I asked my father, Dad, why do you give me the Moscato? We're, I, I was willing to produce Dolcetto or Nebbiolo or Barolo, but he told me, you'll discover on your own. And what I discovered was producing white wine, especially in a winery like ours that has primarily reds, is much harder because you have, you're like in a war protecting your, your tank and your pipes and your pumping system from the other guys jumping around the cellar with, with the red wine. So you have to be so careful, clean everything twice to make sure there's no red juice into, into your system.